Hello and welcome back. Today's account comes from a witness in Leicestershire. Her name is Emma and here's what she had to say. I want to report something that happened to me and my sister a few years ago. We still don't know to this day what we saw. I have looked and looked and nothing on Google is matching it. I've been told by someone it could be a red deer as they will stand on two feet. But this was no deer, it didn't just stand on two feet, it crossed the road walking on two feet. I was with my sister and we drove along Limby Hall in Swannington, which is in Leicestershire, as we wanted to walk the dog somewhere different for a change. My sister lived in Eastwood at the time, so she came over and was going to spend the night at mine in Whittick. It was getting darkish, but there was still enough light to walk our dogs. The night was fresh, as it was roughly February, around 10 or 11pm. It was 2015. We got the dogs into the car and set off. My sister was the driver and I was the passenger. As we went down the lane, a man came out from the fields with three dogs. And we thought nothing of it, just a dog walker like us. We stopped to let him pass and we decided to use the path that he had taken. As it's a single road and you can't turn around, it's very narrow. We went a few pullings along the road looking to park up. We carried on along the road and then in the distance, illuminate, illuminated by the car headlights, we could see something was walking across the road and walking strangely. It was very tall, I would say at least seven or eight feet tall and it looked injured as it walked across the road with a limp and an arched back. It was very wide and all black and as the car headlights didn't reach it properly I couldn't make out any detail but I said to my sister stop the car now what on earth is that she said I've no idea I don't know why but she pressed her horn and the limping figure stopped in the middle of the road and stared at the car I told my sister to put the main beams on and she did but it still wasn't close enough to light it all up the only thing that did light up was its eyes it was reflecting but not just two eyes this thing had multiple reflective eyes it just stood there in the road for ages looking at us then it walked with what i believe to be a limp or it was struggling with a weight of some kind into the woods by the field and was gone at this point we were really frightened we pressed the central lock in and as we couldn't turn the car around we had to go forward towards where the figure had stood and there was no turning back, that was the way we had to go. As we went past the point where it went into the woods we scanned the area from the car but it was pitch black and my sister just put her foot down and floored it and took us back home. Now on telling people this they don't believe me and they won't until it happens to them. We googled it everywhere to find this creature but couldn't find anything that fits or matches at all. I couldn't find anything in the UK all worldwide that has multiple eyes. It has drove me mad trying to work out what we saw that night. The next day we went back and we took our dogs. As we got near the wood where it went in we heard a very strange noise a strange sound one i've never heard before just opposite cows were in the field and they walked to the fence looking over you know as if they were disturbed by the noise we got a piece of grass and we made a noise to see what response we would get but we didn't get one it was very eerie though in those woods like someone was watching you all the time and we didn't stay long we have been back to the spot several times with cameras but no luck I don't think we'll ever find it again, and I accept that, but I would give anything to know what we saw that night. It's very well hidden, this thing, whatever it is, or it runs fast. It was into those woods really quickly. Even with that limping motion, it was still very fast, and I'm not sure what we saw to this day, but I know we need to report it to somebody. And it was at this point, in around July of 2016, that Emma the Witness found and contacted me in the hope, I think, that I could help um, 
she was really brave. She was brave enough to return to Limby Hall and she actually had a phone with her on live feed so that I could, in a way, be there with her, you know, to offer a little bit of moral support and to see if I could see anything. And I was able to point out some very instant, instant, oh, interesting, sorry about that, interesting structures and tree leans and it was a very well covered area. There was lots of ground cover and there was a small brook running through as well. In fact, I would have loved to have visited there myself. When I pointed out the structures to Emma, she was able to provide me with some others later by email that she had found sometime earlier when her and her husband were out close to this area. The area looks ideal and there are other accounts close by and Emma is one of those witnesses that are rare. Although she has the fear, as we all do, she knows it was the darkness and the strange appearance that holds the fear not the actions of the figure itself. And we both wonder now if the walk and the extra eyes could have been something the figure was carrying, like a smaller, younger figure or a prey animal of some kind. This may account for the stooped walk and the extra eye shine. And that wasn't the end for Emma. She has gone back over and over. She's asked neighbours, friends, complete strangers if they too have noticed anything unusual or strange at all when out and about. She's looked at normal research, the paranormal, and she's even visited the area with a psychic medium. And she has found other witnesses. And here's what she had to say. And this, she told me this on the 30th of August, last year, 2016. My sister and my three friends were going back to Limby Lane at night to investigate my earlier sighting. On chatting with my friend to sort this out, we realised that her uncle saw the exact same thing as me and my sis that my me and my sister had witnessed on the very same stretch of road. And this time it was walking along the grass verge at night. His account is almost exactly the same as mine, in exactly the same area. But no mention of eyes. It was the same season and the same time of night. It was just opposite Grace Duke Priory. He also saw the figure crouched. It had no facial details uh, could be seen as the figure was hunched over and seemed to be shielding its face. As it was crouched over almost with an arch back, then it got up and it started coming towards him, coming towards the car. This was at the junction just opposite the ruins. He turned left and sped off quickly towards Loughborough and now he will never drive past the area and avoid it at all times. This is clearly something that needs looking into further and I would appreciate any help I can get. I would really like to commend Emma on her bravery as many have tried to return to the area of their sighting and it's not an easy thing to do. I was chatting with Emma while making this upload and she provided me with many of the pictures that you're seeing now. So if you're local to the area or know of a similar sounding account, would you please contact me and I can pass the information on to Emma. She's usually around on Facebook or YouTube, so if you've any helpful information or any questions you'd like to ask, just let us know. So thank you on behalf of Emma and myself. Goodbye until next time.